Bon, moi, je jurer que moi, pape, j'ai oublié. Haïti, chérie, qui s'est côté fait. Même là où son femme qui est mauvais, mais malgré tout ça, yo a dit sur vous. Pour qu'à faire mon courrier pour vous. Tout ça qui pas bon, c'est où que fait. Les Antilles où t'es la plus belle, où c'est pour belle. Ça va empêcher que se font toutes les envies goûter. Maman, Michel, c'est l'un de mon qui m'a envie coucher. Mon plage, à pied cocoyé. Même l'on petit la go, tout n'est chaché cotoyé. Y'a ça qui pille, parce qu'on mourit pour nous. Y'a te qu'on dit, y'a tap mourir pour vous. J'en perds Freddy, moi, mais soleil chaud. Oh mon pays, ha qui est bon. Wouh! MZ, dis-moi ça, ouais. Yo, bien ça, mais bien ça, bon pile, mais bon vent, bon soleil, bon bail, la belle femme, la belle bail, Haïti Pirate. Greetings, transit community. And welcome to the review of the Kawasaki R143 subway cars. The R143 is a class of new technology train cars built by Kawasaki Rail Car Company for the New York City Subway's B division. It's also the first 60-foot subway car being built and set into New York City since 1969. Now time for its history, deliveries, and specs. The contract for the R143 was put out to tender in January 1998. The initial contract called for 160-foot cars that would come in five car sets. The new cars will be expected to have automatic PA announcements, high efficiency lighting, emergency intercom and customer alarms, AC propulsion motors, speedometers and event recorders, electronic information display signs, artwork, a central diagnostics monitoring system, microprocessor controlled air compressor, brake and communication systems, roof mounted microprocessor controlled HVAC, and to be compliant with ADA requirements. Kawasaki Rail Car Company was awarded a $190 million contract for 100 new B division cars in late, ni- in late December 1998, with an option for 112 more cars. The new design was based on the A division's R142A, which Kawasaki also built and incorporated many features from the R110A and R110B prototypes. The cars were built with an average cost of about $1.5 million per, per car. The fleet numbers for these cars are 101 through 8312. A 30-day revenue acceptance testing with one train of eight cars, 8101 to 8108, began on December 4, 2001. According to Kawasaki, the test was extremely successful. The cars began running on the Canarsie line known as the L-Train line on February 12, 2002, where they were assigned until today. All 212 cars were delivered by March 2003, Along with displacing older equipment from the Canarsie line, the R143s also displaced the R42s on the now extended weekend M shuttle service on the BMT Myrtle Avenue line, when that line became the first BMT Eastern Division line to be placed in a weekend one person train operation known as the OPTO service. The R43s on the M were later displaced by R160As in February, to February 2008. The OPTO service was also tested on the L during mid-2005, but it ended due to safety issues. As these are the first MTT models for the B division, they are the first automated fleet in the subway system. They are currently based at, at East New York Yard and assigned to the L, J, and Z lines. The R143s are very similar to the R160s and R179s, but all three have technical differences. Like the r 
R142s, R142As, and R188s, the R143s feature electronic strip maps. Originally, they only depicted stops on the L, but since 2020, they have been retrofitted to include the J and Z lines. These newer installations depict the L, J, and Z routes using two separate maps side by side, using the same 63 light consoles. Unlike the rest of the NTT fleet at that time, the R143s are equipped with interior LED screens which take place of the MTA arts for transit cars that are usually located there. These screens can display advertisements, public safety announcements, and other information. Several cars of the NTT fleet were similarly retrofitted with LCD screens after they were delivered. However, the LCD screens have the capability, capability to display multiple colors instead of only orange, red, and green. The Transit Authority had projected that 212 Kawasaki-made 1R143 separate cars will be enough to accommodate ridership demands for years to come, but ridership has risen higher than expected. Therefore, 64 new R160A cars manufactured by Alstom were equipped with CBTC so they can run on the L along with the R143s like we see today. Moving on to the powertrain of these concepts is that these signify the use of the Bombardier mi track with four times Bombardier 1508C and a three-phase AC induction motor. And together, these sets sound like this. Now, here are the post-delivery events. On April 18, 2004, an eight-car R143 train overshot the bumper at 8th Avenue line after the operator suffered a possible seizure. The lead car, 8196, presumably suffered damage while the rest of the consoles did not. By 2007, it had been repaired and returned to service. On June 21, 2006, another eight-car R143 overshot the bumper, this time at the end of the tracks in the Canarsie yard after the operator suffered a, a seizure, like the other one. The first car, 8277, suffered significant damage and was stripped of damaged parts before being sent to the Kawasaki plant in Yonkers to receive repairs. The other cars in the set, 8278 through 8280, suffered minor body damage and were moved to the 207th Street yard and repaired. Eventually, A277 was sent back to New York City Transit property and repaired. By 2016, A277 was finally recoupled with 8278 through 8280, but the constants needed component upgrades to become operational. The set returned to service in December 2017. In 2017, a set of R143s were equipped with measuring gauges to test out the curve radius and gateway flex in the existing 60-foot long cars in order to collect data for evaluating the future R211T orders, which was delivered in the beginning of October 2022. In November 2020, the interior strip maps for these cars, which originally only depicted stops on the L route, were replaced with combined strip maps that include stops on both the J and Z lines, whose cars are also maintained at the East New York Yard and L services. Now, time for the story. In 2007, when I was a new immigrant from Haiti, these sets were the first B-Division car models I rode on at the age of four. I was riding these on the L train line, which was the first BMT line I ever took. When I rode these sets, the infrastructure was what amazed me. 
and I was mesmerized with its propulsion system like I heard on the R142 subway model series on the 4 train line. But the announcements sound basic compared to what I heard on the on those A division subway lines. This was when I was living in Canarsie for two years. By 2009, when we moved to East Flatbush, my chances of seeing the Canarsie line and the R143s had become less than I expected. By 2011, when I started to increase my knowledge about the transit system, these R143s were still my favorite models. One day in March, when I was on my way to Queens with my dad, we took the L train from New Lost Avenue to Broadway Junction to catch the J train. On the L, it was still the R143 I was desperate to ride in. However, when we took the J train, it was the R42 arriving at the station. Fortunately, when coming back to Brooklyn, the R143 took us off at Jamaica Parsons Terminal, where the J, J train line terminates with the E train. In July 2011, I was with my cousin on our way to Canarsie from Jamaica in Queens, and we rode the R143 together to Rockaway Parkway Station. But on our way to Jamaica, we rode the R143 on the J train line. Since then, I, ha I have never gotten to see these R143s for so long. In August 2014, I finally rode the L line with my uncle after his shift was done at East New York Bus Depot when he was a bus operator there. By 2019, when I made more visits to Canarsie, either as a shortcut from Manhattan, Queens, or from high school in Crown Heights, or vice versa, my chances to ride the L train is a comeback from my years as an immigrant. On September 30th of that year, I once rode the R143 on the J line to 121st Street to take the Q10 Limited bus to the JFK Airport Spotlight. In October, I rode the L train from 8th Avenue to Rockway Parkway. It was my first time making a complete trip from one terminal to the next. Zooming all the way through Friday, when I take more trips on the L line, I recently learned that it is one of the most reliable train lines. Not only were the R143 subway models responsible for this high level of ridership, but so was the CBTC, which caused the rate of trust to rise. Time for their analyzation. In my perspective, these R143s are well known to be one of the oldest NTTs in the New York City subway system. When I ride them, the interior of these sets feels like a modern train going back into the 80s. Thereby, the interior lighting is warmed out yellow, the storm doors have a one-way opening with one pane glass, and the LCD advertisements are behind our time. On the other hand, their propulsion is significant for this generation. Comparing this with the R160s, those sets are much better, much more comfortable to be in, with cooler interiors and many more aspiring specs than the R143s. After the R143s, the R160s are the step up, step ups from these consists and are more diverse than other B division lines like the F, G, R, E, and some other lines. In fact, some R160s today that are re-equipped with the CBCC run with the R143s on the L, J, and Z lines. And R160s on the L excite me when they give riders more comfort as I wish. But speaking of comfort, in 2021, there was one set of R143s that were wrapped in Supreme brand for at least two months until the fall of 2021. The set was filled with cars like 8104, 8146, and the rest. In March 22, a set with cars 8245, 8246, and more had Paramount's Halo advertisement wraps. Those weren't the only sets to have these trending advertisements, though these models have started receiving ads on themselves since 2014. But bad news recently occurred on June 25, 2023. A set of R143s had derailed while in service while, the, while on the L departing from Rockway Parkway Station. The cause of the derailment was that the, sing, the single axle of the train's wheels left the tracks, causing that and the fifth car to be separated parallel. After the removal of the set, service was fully restored on in the morning after. As these R143s will be here to stay, the R142s are another Kawasaki NTTs that are well enough to compete with these to make MTA earn ridership as they expect. Now the rate for these cars are a 9 out of 10. So thank you guys for watching, like, comment, share, subscribe, and then long live your current observations with these R143s as, the oldest, as one of the oldest NTTs of the New York City subway system. You had my life